It's very hard to be thankful when you can't see the light in front of you. Let's talk about it. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Tesla Therapy, the 10th episode and the final episode in this season. So for those of you out there who have been watching and following along from episode one all the way to 10, thank you very, very much. This has been a new, fun, experimental, just just fun production for me. And so, like I said, there's been ups, there's been downs. I wanted to bring some realism to just being open and honest and talking. And today we're going to talk about being thankful, being thankful for the things that we have. We often, and sometimes more than often dwell on the things that we don't have, whether it be something in a relationship, whether it be something materialistic, whether it be something ideological, we always are striving to be better. And sometimes that can be clouded because then we don't become thankful for the things that we have. I know for me personally, that's my biggest problem, is that I get immediately succumbed by basically not being able to see the light of day. And that's really hard. And I wanna share my, my struggles with you guys and my frustrations because it's very real for me. It's probably the realest topic that I have and that I deal with on a daily basis. And so, what I want to do is I want to express my inability really to be able to flip that switch and understand that everything is okay and that I have the things around me that I really ultimately need as a human being. The love and support of your family, the things that you surround yourself with environmentally, the job or the hobbies that you have that fulfill that need or that want. And I have those things but sometimes it feels empty. Maybe it's because of a outside circumstance or something that you're not quite vibing or gelling with, whether it be, you know, your relationship or your business partner or an acquaintance or someone who's at work. It doesn't really matter. The point is, is that try to free up those stressors. Have an honest conversation or even an honest conversation with yourself, not necessarily with someone else, but understand that even in the worst of circumstances, you still have yourself. And I know that's really doom and gloom, but be able to process and compartmentalize that in a way that's healthy and be thankful. And that's really hard because I sometimes am not thankful. And I can sit there and nitpick all the little intricacies and all the little bullshit that pisses me off every day or every week or whatever the case may be. But I'm not focusing on the positive. And as you guys know on this channel, that's what we focus on, neutrality and positivity. So with that being said, this is a little bit, um, a little bit heavy handed, obviously for the final episode of Tesla therapy, we will be back here probably in, I'd say maybe about a half a year with a little bit different production value. Uh, we'll start releasing episodes maybe a little bit differently, but we'll see how that works. And like I said, I really just appreciate you guys being here. It's been, it's been tough. Um, there's been a lot of things going on, a lot of transitions in my life that I'm kind of just now grasping onto and really kind of understanding wholeheartedly, but I just want to thank you guys. So thank you. And always just be better to each other and listen, 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 listen. When you're having a conversation with somebody, the best thing you can do is listen, open those ears and take a deep breath. All right, you guys, I appreciate you as always. Take care, much love, and we'll see you for season two.